Hey guys, what is going on? I am Evil, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your first Fortnite win. Alright, so right off the bat, you don't ever want to drop the first location. So Pleasant, Snobby, uh, Viking Mountain, Tilted, especially not Tilted if you're going for your first win. I would recommend Motel. That's a great one, unless the Battle Bus comes right over that. If the Battle Bus comes in anywhere over here, I would go for Motel. If it does, on the off chance, coming over here, I would recommend the town down here at the desert. Now, Motel is great because, first off, you have rifts all around here. I'll show you what those are in a minute. And you have planes up here that you can get around the map with. You see, you have one, two, looks like three rifts this time. And there's a whole bunch of ch chest spawns and no one really comes here. First order business is getting a gun right off the bat. You always want to get a gun straight away before you farm up mats. And organizing your inventory. Get some shield. If you find minis, pop them right away. Don't hold on to those. Gotta get all the ammo we want. Make on here. I'm about to show you what the best uh, farming methods are. So just follow along to what I break in these videos this video and just uh, do the same as far as farming techniques. Bathtubs and the porcelain stuff will give you a brick. I wouldn't ever break walls unless I needed to get somewhere. But uh, just the piles of stuff, the beds, the beds give you a lot now. The boarded up windows, bathroom stuff. All that sort of stuff. Pallets, if you ever see pallets, I don't think there's one here. If you ever see a pallet, break that, that'll give you, I think, uh, the most wood in the game. And from a single item. In order of guns, the rarity goes from worst to best. Uh, gray, green, blue, purple, gold. Which is a uh, uncommon, no, common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. Never want to forget to loot the uh, houses here. And the storm is actually on our side this time. So I'm not going to need to, uh, to move very far at all. But going to a motel, it could have been easily, like the edge of the storm could have been down here, or I've seen it like off the map before, like, down here. Which means you got like three or four tiles to go, you know? Which is a long ways. Chest spawn up here. You mind all the chest spawns. Uh, quick shield tip. Minis will restore you 50 shield, but only up to 50. Full shield to restore you 50 health every time you use one, no matter where your shield is. So if you get a full shield and there's no one around, you don't need shield right then there. I would uh, hold on to those and wait until you get some minis. Minis are great to uh, have end game as your shield item, your health item, because you can pop those really quickly and it'll give you 50 health. You pop two of them, give you 50 health really quickly. Like three seconds, I think. Okay, now I want to talk about explosives. For a newer player, they're really good. You know how to use them. Especially the grenade launchers can be really overpowered. So can having a good internet connection. Apparently I don't have a 50 feet. But uh... Yeah, you just wanna get the fences. Like I said, trees are a really good source. Good. Metal is uh, the best material. It takes the longest to build though. But it starts out with the most health and ends up with the most health once it's fully built. You're playing overhead right now, see? Don't ever shoot at planes, they're really overpowered and broken right now. I just missed. See, there is a, on that, where that greasy head is, the burger head. So he's coming in for crash time, so I'm gonna have to go, uh, deal with him. Where does the plane go? He's over there. 
I don't think he knows I'm here. Got a nice 60 damage off right there. Try and bounce that off the side. Alright, there we go. You see, even if it wouldn't have hit him, which I don't think it would have, it scared him enough to move out of the way so I could shoot him. Alright. Now we can take a rift. And uh, head on out of here. You can take a rift right into the storm if you need to, if it's pretty close by. Or if it, like I said, if it's like down here or something, you could always go over here, grab a plane, unless someone's taken all of them. You always just grab a plane. Looks like there are going to be some people down there, but we're not going to go for them. Weak lake. Sometimes you'll get unlucky and someone landed there, but most of the time, no one's going to have landed here. Like this time someone did. Someone just took a rift over there. I see some loot over here. There's a gold item. So I'm going to go for it. Even though, yeah, I kind of figured it was going to be a minigun. The best item, the best loadout to have in this game is an AR or burst if you're comfortable with it. But mostly AR, shotgun, and SMG. What I like to rock is then in my third or fourth slot, I like to rock a healing and then a sniper. This guy's pretty good. Go ahead and grab this real quick. Heavy sniper is gonna do 150 damage at long ranges. Unless you hit a headshot and then it's a one kill. I missed a shot there. As you can see, you have a bullet travel time and bullet fall, bullet drop off. The further they are away, the harder it is to hit them. This isn't the biggest mistake I see players making is trying to COD snipe, is what we call it. Is we're just lining the sniper up right on them and firing the crosshair right up on them. That's the biggest mistake you can possibly make when, sni when sniping. I don't have any way of getting over these guys right now, but I do want these kills. If you're a newer player and you have this kind of loadout, I wouldn't recommend going after them like this. However, I do see balloons right here, and that's going to be very valuable. I can pop two balloons. That's going to take me pretty high. Doesn't know where I am right now. Well, he knows where I am now, but he didn't. Unfortunately, I missed that sniper shot. All right, got him just like that. Good. All right, he's good. That guy's firing at me. See, I can hear with my. The sound where he was. I need that scar. I saw it. I think I got a plane coming at me. Battery there. Alright, always hop onto the wing of a plane if you can. Get the free kill right there. We'll go ahead and take a mini and then take his 
full pot using the plane as cover. Otherwise, I wouldn't ever stand out in the open and heal. Remember, always use a mini before you use a, uh, before you use a full shield. Like I said, I'm going to take the, uh, the minis over the, I think he probably should have just hit me there. I don't think I should have survived that. right there body shot he's gonna have him rift out on pc that's the worst thing you can do people are super accurate on pc lobbies especially because i can ramp up to him i'll show you the trick here i'm gonna take full fall damage there Make me take a little fall damage there. Oh, he did unfortunately just came in and stole the kill. Yeah, a window, just watch. Time to mini up. I see a whole bunch of them coming in, so I'm gonna just spam build. He did hit me there, but I got the first shot off, so I know I could hit him again. Gold pump is going to be my favorite weapon in the game right now. Alright, I need some health healing. Which is really bad, because I don't have any right now. I did take a lot of damage during that fight. Which is not super ideal. I am going to go ahead and give up the rocket launcher now for a... An SMG. I always want to have traps on me. And equipped. So I can use them at any point. Even though this is going to be outside the storm. I can do what I like to call a shuffle. Use a few of them. I saw the bandage out in the storm. And even though I did take a little bit of damage. The storm moved slow enough that I can use enough of them. And still get my minis. Seventy-five health is the max you can go with minis, or with bandages. Sorry, anything past there, the bandages won't heal you. And uh, I just got back to they do fifteen at a time. Each bandage gives you fifteen health. I just got back to full full health and bandages. Honestly, the launch pad might be worth it, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Even though it took out 300 of my metal, which is a very valuable resource right now. And the apples. Ap apples give you 5 health at a time per apple. So if you need some bandages and then some apples, that'd be great. I think there's some more apple spawns up here. If I remember correctly. Yep, right over here. Emma boxes. And these little green things with the yellow stripe on them. I always want to grab those. The max uh, wood you can be at. The max material of any is 999. Whenever you see a supply up like that, always try and mark it. If you can. If you get people around you, don't even worry about it. Or if you're going for one, don't mark it. Because everyone else can see the mark. I'll show you what that looks like in a second here. And they can see when it pops, so they know where you are. 
Looks like there might be someone hiding out in here. Yes, there is. That was someone getting their uh, first win. Trying to get their first win. But they did the camping technique. Alright, they hit me with that. That was impressive. Alright. Now I gotta turtle up. Take another mini. He's got rockets, he knows how to use them. This might be a good time to use my, uh... Nope, not a good time. I don't know how I didn't hit him there. Alright, and that's the last guy. I didn't know that's the last guy. Alright, so that's how you get your first win. If you want to go for a lot of kills. Um, that's why he pushed me there, because he knew that I was the last guy. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to it. But, uh, yeah, you just gotta, you shoot with your shotgun. Build a couple things like I was doing there, so you can't shoot back. And then uh, take the SMG shots whenever it's necessary. But if you have a good shotgun like I had, go for those those shots. So yeah, that's the first one in Fortnite. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.